guys, this is uh, Ryan with the Truck Shaper Picture Show, and I'm going to tell you all about our tour bus, the D. Come on, let's check it out. Right up front here, we got uh, Dave here, the bus driver. What's going on, man? I drive the bus. He does. Uh, night after night on the late evenings, he's always uh, the one half asleep, swerving between lanes, so we typically opt for uh, I waste that have more lanes than not. And, I need uh, at least six to stay straight. So six good. lanes to remain straight. And uh, rumble strips, preferably on both sides, maybe in the middle. I put a club from the 90s on the steering wheel to keep it straight, and a brick on the gas pedal. And I take a quick five to ten hour nap every night. <laughs> and uh, just hope that it uh, you know, stays straight in there. Uh, as far as the dashboard, we sport some XM radio. Probably uh, we don't have an aux input. Got a nice converter here. This is, this is a new thing that they're doing in the uh, upgraded models. Uh, this made our van actually go to platinum status. So we can actually plug in, uh, I don't know, laptops, razors, which I clearly none of us use. Old, old Dave up here doesn't really like company, so. I don't actually have any friends in the band. So no friends. While they get to sleep and hang out, I drive and sit by myself. We also, if you can see in the console, we just installed a, a new full-size fridge and freezer. You can open that up there. Uh, we got some, let's see. Rockstar. Yeah, there's some Rockstar. Some other things. There's a, the two, 2T water. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, no, no beverages that contain alcohol in that. Now back here, we have the, uh, the old grand. We have French swinging doors. Kind of gives a nice vibe, and this canopy. Uh, this was another upgrade. Really nice. <laughs> Most of the time it works. Right now it's kind of malfunctioning, but uh, oh wow, this is pretty embarrassing. All right, come on in, guys. This is uh, the first of four bedrooms here. This is uh, Adam. Would you like to say a few words about your room? <coughs> The best row, the first row, I get the best view and I get the best smell because Davey's up front with his burrito butt all night long. And they tend to get all the bugs in the back, so this is the cleanest part of the tour bus. And the most refreshed. 2T Adventure Brewing Co. What can you say? We need to also note that his suitcase is a staple in the van and moves from row to row. Uh, that's pretty good. It, it doesn't really take up that much space. It's like Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. <laughs> Later. This is our second bedroom. This is uh, bedroom number two, which uh, is actually better than bedroom number one because I get to smell the BO from band members one, two, and three, and I get all the snoring on top of that. So, uh, but we just installed this new uh, system here. It's uh, oh, I don't know if you can catch that. It's actually the technology. It's actually fluffy vanilla. It smells like fluffy vanilla sharks now. Uh, it doesn't really do anything but mix in with the already terrible sense. But we do have our liquor cabinet located in row two, which always has a fresh bottle of Jameson, and we have some fine Scandinavian liquors as well. I think this one is fennel seed, so <laughs> that's tasty. So that's Road Crew Russ. He, uh, he takes care of our day-to-day -day needs, and uh, he handles the mini fridge. Back here is the, the third bedroom. We also have our, these are uh, Swedish curtains pretty much help block out the sun. Uh, oh, a clothing rack. They were made in Sweden. And uh, anyways, this is where I reside. I'm kind of like right in the middle. Got this, uh, this is all silk. Got this specially made from uh, Scandinavia area. Got it imported. Uh, actually has my name embroidered and 24 karat gold on the inside. And, uh, Bedroom Back here, four. we have bedroom four as well. This is the master suite. Uh, it has, as you can see, walk-in closet right back here. Uh, also, we have not only the walk-in closet, we have the back entrance as well right here. Um, it is the king-size bench. The only, uh, the only, the only king-size bench goes in the master suite. But there's no Swedish curtains here. So the sun actually makes this a hot yoga place as well in the morning. Um, but other than that, it's a, a nice comfy road to never be used while the car's in motion because nobody will drive during the times where our, we're supposed to be sleeping, except the master bedroom, me.
<laughs> so that's uh that's our bus here and we also have sunglass hut right here that's correct uh, we keep all of the sunglasses right here we only have one pair for the whole band occasionally we will set up a home theater also on top of the mini fridge oh, uh, have they seen the plasma screen oh they haven't got our 25,000 inch iPad screen cracked edition it's nice upgraded that's what happens when your musicians on the road you get all the best things for free so this is not the garage this is the shed uh, we keep all of our backups right here of Nice Ernie Ball strings, Chuck Taylors, backup shoes. Uh, it also keeps all of our outdoor needs like trailer stop and shampoo. So we keep this in the shed. Uh, but let's let's show you the garage. There's a few different rooms in here. This is the hydration the hydration station. We drink currently 2T water. Uh, sometimes we like to pump iron, so this is the weight room right here. One 30 pound weight can do everything that a man needs on the road. Everything. 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 We have the uh, kitchen pantry right here. Uh, we never leave home without our light syrup. We prefer our Aunt Jemima light syrup, but uh, we're running low on that right now. So this is our kitchen right here. And then from there, I mean, we have some merchandising. Uh, you know, we don't really do anything on the road. We, we don't even actually play music. We just set up our tent and sell merchandise. Most of this is stale hot dog buns, and uh, we'll buy hot dogs from 7-Eleven in bulk and sell them without cooking them. We go on the road a lot, and we just take tires off the side of the road and try to sell them to other people that drive cars that use the same tires. We haven't had any luck, so we just continuously store old tires right here as well. I think that's it. Well, thanks for stopping in to the Chuck Schaefer Digital Tour Bus Crib. And uh, see you next time. Bye.